Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign. It is a campaign where we're trying to beat a legendary Iron Man difficulty with less soldier options, less equipment options, less hit points and stronger enemies. And today one of those stronger enemies has to die. It's time to infiltrate the Chosen Stronghold Operation Mountain Goddess Ponos. And we got to deal with not only and uh, Spectre Prime here, but also a couple of other pretty nasty enemies. And we're bringing none other than our Prime soldiers. Uh, we got... Well, we, there we go. Jessica Jones, Sub uh, Rabbit. We got Frodo, Reckoner, Primos, Wurtz and Quickfeet, all of whom want to participate in that mission. Uh, we also locked in the equipment so what you're currently seeing on them cannot be used on other uh, soldiers. We de um, I discussed it in the other ones that I wanted to have kind of a dedicated set of equipment and that is indeed it. Uh, as qu equipment upgrades for instance Rashi and the Katana of course Quickfeet would release his old equipment and it can be used other from, from other soldiers but the way that I'm seeing it is we want to really showcase a couple of niche items and not the B tier items that are available uh, when the A tier items or S tier items are banned. Good, with that, let's jump into the mission and see how well we're going to do. Take one of these things out. Good, we Rocket. landed. Okay, people. Got a nice Stay little team of our six here. soldiers. And where do we no need to go? Oh, well, we certainly need to go this way, and I assume kind of up here or no up here is the, is the final room. Taking the only one of our soldiers who is concealed, which would be quick feet. And we're realizing right away that this, that moving too far would immediately result in us running into an enemy pack, which of course Let's take these things out. I'm as graceful as a means that I will move up really carefully. Nope. Interesting enough, the mech is not triggering, but if I stay right behind the mech, the mech is considered to be covered, so I'm considered to be on the left and right spot uh, next to it, which means I would trigger. That's a, fa a funny interaction. Well, as funny as such an interaction is. Good, copy. Good moving, moving carefully all across the room. Can't really get up. Yes, this here will trigger. Maybe maybe we can trigger them, who knows. Well, there we go. That's at least a small trigger. And now uh, all hell breaks loose because, yep. We're finally shredding. And of course, guess what? Someone is over. Uh, someone is already overwatching. We're going to remove the Overwatch. There we go. Don't want to deal with that shit. And now the question is, what are we going to do with the rest? This here could be a nice hit. This could be a nice one as well. Let's try to get him out of full cover. Nope. That was not successful. Which means we're doing the next best thing. Moving up, 
and we're chain shotting to make sure that this elite shield bearer is going to die wow first shot already killed him nice one good fucking job saturation fire apparently we can't hit both of them without hitting primus Uh, I wish the grapple would be a good idea, but I think we're potentially going to just move us out of range. We could kill the purifier in one go, but that still leaves the mech, why, uh, the, the, oh my gosh, Andromedon wide open. Good. It seems as if we need to overdrive and solve the situation. Want to use as little of our cooldowns as possible. That's a nice little shredding shot. 50 50 is not good enough. One of the not so important cooldowns is Bombard. That will remove cover. There we go. Fantastic. And how are we going to deal with the rest? I think. I think we gotta kill the mech first. It's dead, as requested. I'll need to reload. Good. The Andromedon would die. We can still kill the purifier Ty potentially can't kill the Andromedon without using advanced teamwork let's first of all try um, to kill the purifier if you're not using any cooldowns and just use DPS. It's not that simple to really get all of them down. I'm in. Fantastic. Okay, we gotta use one advanced teamwork. Got a second one. I hate to do it. Nicely shredding it with rupture and holy shit this guy took some serious damage. Good riddance. Okay, overall that is how it's supposed to be done. We've used one bombard. It's not the end of the world. We used uh, only cooldowns that we can get back, so that's fine. And yeah, it was really bombard and one teamwork. A long approach. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I'll keep an eye on it for Overwatch. you. Overwatch. Come get some. I'm on it. Got it in. Okay, now the question of the day would be which direction do we want to go? Take a good look. If you're going left and right, you sometimes can see through parts of the fog of war. This here looks like one of those research rooms, and this is the end of the map, so 
unlikely that we're, we need to go uh, um, this way. This here looks like the hallway building block uh, for the cells. So if we go in, it should be a long left corridor. And typically at the end of the corridor, uh, we need to kind of go into the direction where the final room is at. Alright, board smooths over. Location confirmed. Since we know there is high ground, I'll position right here. We can use our grappling hook. Alright, three more turns. For now we're fine. I want to go get um, I want to get an overdrive back. Two more turns after this one. So let's just double check. Is there anything in this room? Gotta play it safe and smart. No obvious hacks to be seen here. But that does not mean that there are no enemies. Just means there's no obvious one. What we can do is... Use this here, kind of in the middle of the room, just in case someone is moving from A to B. And let's open the door. Nothing. Like I said, the cell compartment. Good. We're going to be careful here. I move. Absolutely no intention of speed running this. Closing on target position now. We haven't even gotten a sound clue. So for all I'm concerned, they could be anywhere. Likely someone is beha uh, back there. Moving up onto high ground. Nothing. Strange. Headed there now. All right. Words moves up. Jessica Rabbit most certainly moves up. Okay, so far everything's really good. If an enemy pack would march into into this uh, stronghold, they would most certainly regret it. This is the last room. Like I said, we can go through this door and then into the last room. Not a surprise either. Once you know the building blocks, it's seldom that you're going to be surprised. There's an open door here telling me that there is a pack within that next room I go. so we want to be careful moving to position going up getting some better shooting angles from the other side We're going to do the same with the mech in a second. The important part is really to overwatch. It's an overwatch crawl, just like in XCOM 1. 
But there's nothing wrong with it. Um, if you if you regularly play careful, then you typically will only end up with one pack that's being pulled. And you also will not find yourself wasting too many resources, right? Good. Big feet. Good copy. Moving on Again moves up. You can see how I'm blue moving everybody before I'm taking overwatches. Or if I move at the end, only moving into a position where I'm not going to pull anything. Likely uh, there is an enemy kind of from that side. Not our problem though. If they will not show, we're not going to ask. Sort of. Moving to designated position. Moving out. Good. Completely moving over. I like to hope that there is again something in the next room. All right, let's double check. Nothing. I'm checking for fields that are taken. And typical positions where you would find... Oh, this here. There is a pot over here. Right here. Kill zone. And let's go. Five specters and every single one of them has lightning reflexes. Holy moly. Oh wow. You must be kidding me, right? So opening a door, eight enemies. Spectre, Spectre Prime, Spectre, Elite Lancer, Spectre, Priest, Troop. Holy, 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 holy. Shh. I'm lost words, I don't even know what to say. That is so unfortunate and at the same time so incredibly ridiculous. What am I supposed to say? Like, I can't go through that without using resources. That's just not going, ha and going to happen. On the flip side, this here could hit five enemies. <laughs> okay, so, well, <clears throat> well, Spectre Prime is a problem. We got a free reload. Can we also grapple somewhere? I'm I'm low-key thinking about really re retreating, closing the door and just letting them come. Because this here is such a completely re retarded, excuse my language, setup. 
Let's try for Frostbite first, that's a free action. Okay, so... That misses. Free reload. Not sure what I should think about that whole situation. The prime itself is a problem. Prime time problem. Justice pull. Can we just pull someone? Most of them do have technical um, reflexes. I mean, we could uh, just pull one of these guys out, right? And saturation fire just for double checking how oh, that would hit all of them. And I could exclude the Prime, so there is no reaction from the Prime. Let's get that Spectre here. And we're going to deal with him. There we go, fantastic. At the same time, let's take a look at how, st how strong Saturation Fire is. Supposingly can hit up to four targets here. Okay, not a it's overall not a bad maneuver. Hate that spectre. We can't cluster up too much, so I got to find a place where I can completely molest this guy here. Potentially from here. Okay, I'm still keeping the throwing X for now. Oh, let's just get this guy down. Fantastic. But what we can do is I could, of course, kind of move back and kill zone so whoever enters will have a problem. Not the worst idea. Overdriving. I want to deal as much damage now as possible, then we're moving back in. We're making them pay. Gotta be careful here as well. We do not have cover as soon as this uh, is open. I don't want to be taken advantage of. Be careful. Gotta be careful with advanced teamwork as well. This could be a kill. minimum damage four points of damage if i was to hit this guy there is a high likelihood that it'll be a kill and we would be we would be concealed but the moment that someone comes through the door that concealment is out of the window i want to take a high ground here I'll opt for the safer play. 
There is a chance that I could hit this guy. Should we kill him or should we go for the kill zone? How many of them can realistically enter? Potentially just the Spectre Prime. That's one of those situations where I just take the hail of bullets. I want to kill this guy. 100% shot. Done. Got him placeable. I think I like the position where we're at. Frodo takes a position over there. And I don't want to give them the luxury of knowing where we are. So we're closing the door. There's still an overwatch. move all the way to here but I think I like the position for wards better where she's currently at good so everybody has tactical analysis they moved up some overwatched no one entered not the worst we're going to play with line of sight Can't pull someone out. Uh, saturation fire is on cooldown, although this is a fantastic saturation fire. That's why I typically pick it. Because it's really not too bad. Gotta deal with the prime though. Prime is the main problem at this point. How long until until Frostbite is back? One more turn. Yeah, I don't want to wait that long. Matter of fact, I think we can't wait that long. Gotta deal with the Elite Lancer first. That's one of our biggest offenders. I like that idea of, of a kill zone. My problem is all of the specters have lightning reflexes. So realistically, we're talking about one, two, and that uh, faceless one, so three units at whatever the priest is doing. We could kill the Elite Spectre. That's a realistic chance. It feels wasteful to use the Frost Bomb only on that Elite Spectre. On the other hand, I know just how shitty that action economy is. My problem is also that we do have that Elite Lancer there. We could take both of them out for a round, but then we have to deal with the Elite Spectre, uh, the Spectre Prime. The Primes are a problem. I do not have a great alternative yet. I've already found out that um, any attack on them triggers, so even throwing axes will not take them out. So you really got to work with Frost against them. And unfortunately, our freezing hasn't really worked out. That's why I would have focus fired on the prime we move over we could use we could use advanced teamwork to still have the kill zone you know all right reloading um we're going to go for the Spectre. In order to do that, we're making sure that it is frozen because that's what it really, really does not like.
And let's start with the Spectre Prime here. I uh, potentially should have shredded beforehand. Every little damage counts. In case you wonder why I didn't reload, we do have... We do have a superior reloader. Advanced teamwork. I don't like that clustering because if the mech could move up, it'll use rockets. What's our chance of hitting it? We gotta mark it first. Quick feed would do that. The problem that I'm seeing is we can't get up here. So the closest I can get is potentially to here. It's still full cover. It's unfortunate. And what I would want to do is I'd like to take advanced teamwork because I still want that kill zone we could go for a marking but I think the kill zone is better we have enough firepower is the question like potentially let's mark it first going to keep the axe for the sarcophagus. Fantastic damage. I'm all out. Okay, we can get that kill, and with it, we get death from above, and with death from above, I can still overwatch, which we're successfully going to do. Proto essentially gives an aid protocol to Primus because I don't want anyone to rush in and come to the idea that Primus is the best target. We're going to Overwatch. I hate the Elite Lancer, but hopefully it'll die when charging in. We got a couple of Overwatches. We're not going to mess with those guys. We're going to uh, abuse line of sight again and overwatch. That way, no mind control for now. He's vanishing. I'm not exactly sure how you're stepping through the through the wall. But okay. It seems that it was just an animation error. He was trying to do that, but he immediately regretted his life choice. Alright, we got lightning reflexes going. Which this should trigger the overwatch, but thanks to lightning reflexes, nothing happens. Fantastic, and I figured we would see a reveal here. Preparing my weapon. Free reload. Mm -hmm. 
Moving up. We're going to go for the Mac next. Nice little shredding. That was good. I think free reload, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay, Frodo. Can we comment protocol the Mac? No, we can't. means we're mo really moving over here time for a rupture shot nice one wow 15 points of damage and we do have death from above so theoretically i could have also tried to shoot from up here there's still a melee beast somewhere in here so we got to be moderately okay. careful Let's start marking. That's let's start marking that um, specter here. Nice little shot. Very nice. I am wondering why all of those fights here feel like okay. I'm fighting against kind of um, an upside battle it might be because i don't know w without any wrongdoing we're triggering eight enemies that that might be the reason but who knows it's unclear let's put it that way i mean we come in and I immediately trigger eight enemies. About 150 hit points worth of enemies are charging in. And I don't really see what I could have done differently. You need to open the door at some point. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. So realistically speaking, that would have happened sooner or later. All right, destroying the wall. Moving to position. Marking the target. I'll get him next time. Come on. Okay, that priest. Seems to be standing pretty secure. Yeah, we're not going to deal with the Shogun. Not yet. It's time for the priest to die. Of course, he doesn't do that. He instead goes into uh, into sustenance. And we're going to overwatch. I mean, the whole encounter made for a fantastic fight. I truly appreciate that. Still up. Try harder. Okay, the couple of things. Number one, we're moving in. Number two, let's get that beast. Want to see 
kidding me? Okay, well. Apparently, he's not visible, in which case... Couldn't use anything but a grenade. And overall, I have used much more of my, my resources than I would have been comfortable with. So, in terms of cover removal, we're fine. We still got two major cover removals. We got one crowd control with a single ice, uh, ice blast here, uh, frostbite. But there is a chance that that is not going to work out. We got all of the healing uh, still left. But we use the shredding grenade. It's not the biggest loss, to be honest. I had to use quite a few teamworks just to stay up uh, to date with all of uh, the enemies. So I think we've almost used all of them. No need to ask twice. I'm all over it. I would say that is consuming about 60%, 50% of our resources. The teamwork stuff sucks a bit because with, yeah, we, I've used both of the teamworks here. Because with teamwork, uh, the sarcophagus would have died earlier. It's not completely a, a game ending because we still got the axe and we got uh, dual shot. As well as a couple of damage increasing um, abilities. But yeah, all things considered. I mean, we got death eye, twi uh, death eye twice. But all things considered... That was a rather tough start. I've often done the first part without any utilization of any cooldowns. But that's clearly with different ammunition, higher level soldiers and yeah, better equipment overall. Okay, part two of uh, the assassin fight. Let's just double check. Yeah, we're almost okay. Heading out. Moving up and Definitely triggering the first pack. Is that a mutant prime? Please don't tell me that that's a mutant prime. It is a mutant prime. All right, so much for our. So much for our second freezing ability. Good, there we go. God damn it. Well, Let's maybe start by moving over here. Closing on target position now. Target disabled. Fantastic. That solved our um, our big problem. The mutant. The mutant itself is a nasty beast, but the mutant prime essentially shoot back with his heavy plasma every single time so we gotta freeze this guy one two and let's shadow fall because having concealment is not bad But we got to be careful. None of the loot is worth triggering the Chosen preemptively. I want all of the cooldowns before we're even trying to get her. So what she often does is she either hides here or here or there.
Therefore, let's carefully um, move out. We really can't grapple that well in here, which is a problem. Good. So we got three turns. I think that this here is not triggering. Let's try. Moving. Yep, the alarm core is worth it. I've got it. Good. In return, On your order. this is not triggering. And I'm just trying to spread out for now. End of turn. Good, fantastic. That way we can easily kind of traverse to here. And make sure that she's not hiding. Good, one more turn and I think we're good. Reload Fresh reload. Everybody reloaded. Okay, they all are. Maintaining position. Good, this should not trigger. Ah, it does, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's see what we're dealing with. We gotta kill her fast and then essentially go for the sarcophagus. So immune to melee, she summons mech uh, units, increases will, and after first attack she's more difficult to hit. Generally speaking, that is fine. Generally speaking. Good, we're moving up. We're using scanning protocol. Good. We know where she's at. And we are going to move in. I messed up with the timer. That's unfortunate. Try to hit her for three. That is okay, but I think we're going to mark her first. This here would mark her, right? We do have... We do have Polo targeting. Yes, we do. Eighty percent. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have run and gun, which would be fantastic because that would almost seal the deal with her. So we got a marker. It would be perfect to rupture her at the same time. Question is, that is a 95% chance. And shredding her first would be even better. I think this here could be a reasonable first step, marking her via holo targeting. I won't be slowed by your feeble attacks. 
Is she marked? Low cover defense, good angle, holo target at 15%. Yeah, she is marked. All right, trying to shred her. Worked like a charm. Trying to rupture her. 50-50, not a perfect... Not a perfect chance, but she's now ruptured. Which in return means she's taking a lot of damage. Sizable amount of damage. Seven with Comet Protocol, fantastic. I think we got Hail of Bullets, right? Yeah, we got Hail of Bullets. Well, thanks for the 100% hits. Enemies down. That was good. And I think we even got a free shot onto the sarcophagus. Maybe not not in range, maybe. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor. Transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly yep, to the not in range, but we can no move to here. These things don't die. You're kidding me, right? You are absolutely kidding me, right? Mutant Prime. I mean, wow. What's our chance to shut this guy down? Okay, that's not too bad. So I suppose what we're going to do is we're eight protocoling. In this case, Primo's here. And I'm not going to shut down yet because the mo the single most important uh, aspect here is to destroy the sarcophagus. And I really want to make that work. On the move. Which means we're moving up. Dual strike. Don't want to deal with her again. That's some really solid starter damage. Reloaded. On the move. Free reload. Throwing axe. Chain shot, let's come on, let's hit this one. It's uh, that is important. Yep, oh, that's a good one. Keep it going, Bowdy. Fantastic. Those extra abilities really pay out well. Could eventually grapple over and hit twice. Keep I'll keep that in mind. Time for an overdrive. One. Two. Guns fire bullets or lie and sometimes flash, but did I mention I need ammo? Tactical movement. Moving as far away as possible. I want to get that sarcophagus down. Almost down. Come on.
good. This is a decent position, of course, not if we're continuing to be flanked. But this might kill. Is the Cafugus, is it down? No, it's not. We have no more reloads left over. So a rocket was the last option that I would have had. And we're going to shut this guy down. M Mutant Prime will take one action against us. It is what it is. Chosen will of course respawn and we got to deal with her as well. But if my memory serves me well, as soon as we kill her, these two are irrelevant. So all we got to do is when she reappears, we got to beat her so massively that she's not thinking about coming back. Okay, well, that was... All right, moving up. Let's find her. Oh, she's not here. She's not here. She's not here. She's not here. She might be somewhere down there. Certainly not here. We gotta find her. Fantastic. That's what I was looking for. Ooh, that was even a free reload. Even better. Hello there. attack the mutant prime we can pull up but that's too far away I know though how we can get rid of that plasma grenades very much destroy that cover segment not fantastic damage but still we're getting great aiming angles Good, we got a marker. That weapon bears the mark of another. Where did you find it? Yeah, we're not going to melee attack uh, the mutant prime. That is not happening, my friend. He's immune to melee damage. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got three actions this turn. And instead of hitting with 40%, I rather want to go all in. And that's it, guys. <laughs> that is it. Fucking Mutant Prime came back. But no, no, no. We're not going to go an extra round. Sometimes you, you need to know when to pull the trigger. And that was one of those times where we needed to pull the trigger. Fantastic. We're going to have a couple of injuries 
Jessica Rabbit is shaken, but was to be foreseen. She potentially even has a psychological uh, consequence of it. A negative trait, but Arashi and the Katana are well worth it. Got two Alarium cores even out of it. And the Skirmishers are now our best friend. Ooh, Jessica Jones' fear of missed shots. Uh, yeah, we're going to remove that as soon as possible. But we're also going to put her onto the resistance ring as soon as possible. Whew. One down, two to go. Avenger plotting new course. And more resources for more upgrades. Uh, yes, please. Good, we got an engineer back. I think that was the one uh, that got injured earlier. Go for a workshop. We certainly don't need that. Power relay, don't need that as well. I think we need a defense matrix and then we're more or less done. Every other position is already well taken care of. So with the two cores, what I would like to do is... I think we're going to go for another armor. Plated vest, fantastic, like that. Do we do we require another ammunition? Tail and rounds would be fantastic. So let's get another ammunition. I'll send word when the project is complete. These findings. Will likely prove crucial to and finally weapons. we got so many upgrades war suits serpent armor warden armor wrath suit spectre autopsy comes Refer on top of it and with it the refraction field which i will use in this run it is a good um, item unfortunately quite expensive to build but once we are having enough resources i certainly will use that and next up, I think we're going straight for the Assassin's Weapons. Plasma Lance still requires uh, the Art Archon's Autopsy. Sectorport Breakdown is a good one as well. But yeah, let's start with the Assassin's Weapons. Researcher Priority Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Good. And oh, before I forget about it. Number one, we now can build the most heavy armor in the game. Number two, of course, a couple of things. Overdrive Serum is something, as well as the Refraction Field. Both of these items will be used in this uh, run. Just got to find the right timing. Warden Armor, yeah, that takes a bit more. I think in the meantime, we can upgrade the Sparks. I think we can all agree that that would be helpful. And Serpent Armor, we will require more Alloys and more Elarium, but I would want to upgrade that as well. I suppose since that worked, we might as well keep it up, Commander. Fantastic. So we got a facility lead just in case we need one. Good. And the skirmishers, as you can see, are now, there is no, well, they're apparently still as a capture, but typically everything should be easier now. Reduce avatar project, not really needed. Hmm. Aim plus three. But we don't need the loot. I think this is really what we want to do next. And in order to do that, Reckoner could also use dodge. I wanted to stack that on quick feed. Reckoner already has a bit of dodge. And since he's the only one who's currently available, we want to take the opportunity to do that. 
and I think this setup here would be fine. There's an ambush chance. As long as no one is getting captured, I'm actually okay with the setup. And for our skirmisher, this is really just about the dodge. Plus, we're starting to to locate uh, the next chosen. That'll take a lot of time, but we eventually want to get that to level three as well, because with the dark lands, our sniper will become a menace, an absolute beast. In the meantime, we are getting some more targets, and I really don't like what I'm seeing here. Archon Prime. Mutant, Andromedon. Uh, that here looks like the small version of the Archon, uh, the Archon King, and that guy by itself already is no fun. So we might want to, yeah, we will need to do that, but we might want to be careful. We do have the B team available. I mentioned though that we're no longer sharing equipment and we so far do not have rushy so can't really I'll be the first to admit. offer the hunter x as well hazmas vest looks fantastic the by the way for quick feet so right that's now, a good item the immunity to fire acid and poison that, uh, that is great so i think we're going to leave it leave that i am hoping for tail and rounds for better ammunition but this here looks like a really solid setup for him uh, with the katana and rashi that should re that should really be a strong overall setup question is what are we going to do with the rest tracer rounds make sense because wards needs the plus hit so plus frost bomb and plasma bomb that's fine who could benefit from that solid um, armor so far reckoner did have a grenade as a second item and self-healing uh, stasis vest he can i think only wear one uh, vest the healing portion might be good i could also see him getting a bit more armor and just tanking it and on the other hand i mean frodo skulljik is fine and all but with a plated vest We've, we've upgraded, we, we do have the research breakthrough for this here, so if you, if you look at it, he would essentially rock the boat uh, with two armor already. I think that this is better than the actual hack buff. Hacking is cool, but we need to be super sturdy, specifically against the likes of the, the primes. I am expecting them to be more and more of a problem as the game goes on. So, yeah, maybe we're putting the plated uh, vest on uh, Frodo and leaving it uh, there for now. Has a nano med kit if uh, he uh, she needs to heal herself. But yeah, with the plated vest, we're actually pretty uh, pretty damn well off. In terms, and that's the last thing I want to check, in terms of training center, soldier bond. Um, who's upgrading their bond? Zirkem and Zukugor. Potentially not the best time to start that, to be honest. And in terms of ability training, let's just double check. Frodo has everything. Ward says everything. Jessica Jones, we still don't need to uh, know what the last one is. Boy, boy, we got so many AP and we can't use it. Primus is wounded. Still needs that extra one rank to get up. So potentially next round we, we hopefully can do that. And yeah, then the prime team seems to be more or less set. 
Okay, cool. Anyways, that's the end of today's mission. Next time uh, you will uh, find out how I can deal with an Archon Prime, or if I can deal with an Archon Prime. That will be an interesting slaughter. And we're hopefully going to get uh, Intel Plus uh, supplies. Thank you for watching and see you all a bit later. Bye bye, guys.